Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And today is League One Team of the Season. We need to look at some market moves that could be happening today and see what could be happening with the League One Team of the Season coming out and the rest of the world uh, Team of the Season coming out as well. So, first of all, I want to show you guys something that I just saw in Footbin. This card is just popping up on Footbin right now. The Pepe 96 rated. I'm guessing that's his team of the season card. I went to new FIFA 19 players and he's there. Uh, this card is in the game. I don't know if it was leaked and they saw it or if Footbin knows what's up with this, but this is going to be Pepe's team of the season card right mid. Insane, insane stats, just like we expected. Um, I wonder if that's affected the price of the 90. It has. This card has gone up. A decent, uh, you know, five, six thousand coins here in the last couple hours. Yeah, you can see it 82 to 89. Um, but you know, we'll have to see what this card's price is when it does enter the market. Of course, uh, we'll have to watch the drop rate, and that's what the first thing that I want to talk about today is when these cards actually do come onto the market. Um, it's always interesting to watch their drop weight, weight, and their pack weight, and you know, how much they're coming onto the market. So, obviously, last week. Um, you, you watch these Serie A guys. Oh, Cristiano Ronaldo at 8.1. He is down. 8.199. That is low. Um, but a lot of these cards, you can tell in the first couple of hours, there's just not a lot of them on the market. They're very expensive for the first couple of hours. Uh, ben, but then we've had other times where, not really during team of the season, but during other promotions, when they come onto the market, when people have saved up packs. Uh, we saw this with, I do believe... Um, team of the season Premier League and team of the season most consistent. <clears throat> you saw people open up their save packs right away, which creates a lot of extra supply onto the market, and then the prices rebound after that. That's not really the case with these later on team of the seasons. People don't have packs saved up. People don't have many packs saved up, I, sh I should say. There's, there's still people out there that are saving up packs, but it's just not as many. So watch tomorrow when we see the uh, League One Tots come into the game for the first time. Just kind of look at their pack weight. If you see them starting to pop up and you're like, wow, this seems like a lot of supply, especially for a higher rated card, that's going to be something that you're going to want to monitor over the first couple of hours during lightning rounds. Now, obviously, everybody's going to be focused on the Neymar and the Mbappe tomorrow, but I'm sure there's going to be some other gems in the team that people are going to want to try out. It happens with every single team of the season. I mean, you look at this Tots, you look at Quagliarella, you look at DePaul, um, you know, Gomez is somebody who's had a lot of special cards this year. Izzo has had a few informs. Zapata, you know, like this Correa card, nobody really saw this coming. I mean, the, with especially with the stats that you were getting for this card or the DePaul card, both of these cards have, you know, some very interesting stat appeal to them. A lot of people want to go out and try them out. Same thing's going to happen with the League One team this season. It's all about finding those players, and some of them uh, just get too low on the first day and a lot of them rise up into the second day as well the op looking cards statistically um a lot of those get to a point on the first day that time is usually around the th the second midway through this uh the second lightning round into the third lightning round is sometimes where you see the lowest prices for some of these cards um before they kind of reach a lull period an hour after lightning rounds, and then they start kind of getting rare overnight. People start trying them in weekend league, and they start rising up. So if you want to mess around with flipping some team of the seasons that will be coming onto the game tomorrow, um, or excuse me, today, um, watch those card prices kind of after lightning rounds are done at, in that time frame. Maybe look to get some on bid, and just look for some snipes as people still have some lingering packs that they're opening. But I want to take a look at some of these other cards as well. Obviously, what we look for before the team is released is the panic. Now, Mbappe is still chilling here at 3.7 million coins. I would expect for them to have some panic. I've heard some rumors that this card's going to be a striker. I have no idea. I'm not going to speculate. Um, but if his team of the season card is a striker, I would expect this card to go down in price. But this one would have some uh, different value and extra value to it since it is a right wing card. So... I do, just, I do expect that card to drop. I do expect Neymar to drop as well, just because so many people have built their endgame teams around these two cards. Uh, not necessarily this one. I just wanted to check the price. Interesting, 1.4. Same thing with this one, 2.3. Okay. What about the team of the year? Is there a team of the year Neymar on the market? 
There is. I see two. 5.4. So he's still very, very high in inflated price, um, which makes sense because there's a lot of coins on the market right now after people opening saved packs and going through all these team of the seasons. A lot of people do have coins. So watch those cards prices tomorrow as well as, as other cards, you know, that could get a um, <clears throat> that could get a team of the season card. I'm getting a link up right now where we can look at some of this um, at the moment. Obviously, we go to our FIFA 19 players, go to top five, league one. These special cards that we've been looking at for the past couple of days, just watch the panic tomorrow. Awar, um, and Dom Bailey, if he gets re-released right now, he's up about 20k. Watch for some panic on this card, especially in the morning. The cards last week, like um, who got uh, Allen? We'll take a look at this card. So right now, and Dom Bailey, 300,000, 343 on PS. Oh my goodness, 539k. Oh. Okay, this is what happens when they don't get a team this season. It's a meta card. I'm not saying that Anton Bailey is as meta as this, um, but wow, look at that rise. One more that we can check for confirmation on this is Chan. This happened to Chan as well. What's his price? Oh, it did. It did. He's not as meta of a player, but he is Juve. He is German. Easy linkaging. 280, 300,000 coins. So he's up almost 100K, a little bit less than that in the past week. So again, watch Endon Bele if he does not get re-released into the team of the season. His card is probably uh, going to fly like these um, because his card is very good and a lot of people have liked that card. It looks like he's up a bit right now, 305,000 coins. If you can maybe get him for under 300K you know, uh, on Xbox and maybe like 320 on PS, that might be a decent shout for that card. The pattern seems to be that they aren't re-releasing these cards now they re-released Telez, and I think there was they re uh, they re-released Busquets as well. So that's the interesting thing. You kind of it's a big time gamble. You could lose a lot of coins on this card if he does not get into team of the season. Uh, excuse me, if he does get into team of the season, you might see this card go down closer to a hundred thousand coins. So it is a risky investment. Um, but you know, if you want to play your cards, if you had this guy in your team, you bought him at two hundred and fifty k a couple weeks ago. You know, what's the what's the hurt in holding him out? You're either going to lose 50k and that price is going to rebound by the end of League One Tots where you could break even if you want to sell him, or he's going to shoot up 100,000 coins um, like we saw with Allen. So again, watch that card. That might not be for everybody, but you can. everybody can be looking at these League One players, um, the special cards that have informs like Marquinhos. They have headliners. Other stuff like that. The other Mbappe informs, uh, Di Maria informs, the Lala headliner. Just watch those cards. Um, and then if you're if you're kind of like me and you're a bit skeptical about the Lala and the the Furland Mendy, we talked about those in yesterday's video. Um, watch these cards, you know, because there's a lot of people that are going to be investing in them. And uh, if you see them, let's say like Lala right now, it looks like he's like 210,000 coins. Yeah, chilling somewhere close to 210. Let's say, okay, there's some 203s. Let's say tomorrow morning he is 220, all right? It's going to be the same thing that happened with Cancelo last week. He's going to be um, bought up into the hype, and you're going to want to sell him into the hype because afterwards he's going to drop in price after he gets the team of the season. I could see that happening again this week. Um, I think the best, safest buy time for a lot of these cards, even if they do manage to creep up a bit in price, for like an FFS Mendy or a Lala would be on Monday, Sunday night into Monday. As people try to get Mbappe, try to get cards, French cards that are going to link with these outside backs. So again, watch some cards if they start rising up a lot before uh, the team this season does drop. Make sure to be on, uh, be on the lookout for some selling into the hype. You know, what we say is the number one rule in FIFA trading and foot trading is selling into the hype, getting your guaranteed profit. Um, but it is also the end of the year and you got to have some fun, right? I mean, if you want to take it, this is a great time to learn the market, learn investing. The game is hype right now. There's a lot of coins. You can flip cards very easily trading wise, um, hourly flipping, you know, fluctuations of cards, card prices. So now is a great time. Ooh, look at this. This might be a little fluctuation area right now. 205,000 coins. I sold a bunch today for around 220. 
but I'm going to stay away because that's not really any profit if I can sell at 220. So that's one thing you just can kind of notice um, about that. But more League One things. Um, the rare gold cards, you know, we talk about that every time. I think they're decent to stock up on, but again, they're just getting so overpriced, you know, already. Like, look how much people are paying for these rare gold cards. Oh my gosh, are you serious? You can't find, how much is this? <sighs> people are already paying 1,200 coins for some of these rare gold cards, and they're so rare. Um, again, what I said in my video yesterday, I think the real means this week to get the upgrade SBCs and to craft those upgrade SBCs is literally just going to be buying the gold players doing the the lower level SBC instead of the upper level because of the fact that it's going to be way cheaper to do if the uh, League One rare cards are so much more expensive this lower level SBC is going to be a lot cheaper to craft you might be able to do five or six of these to what it costs to do one of those you can just spam a ton of these lower level upgrades work your way to a few of those and do more packs that way so um, that's one thing that you can do i'm actually going to uh, claim my weekend league right now so i don't forget it said i was qualified right register now boom there we go we're going to play in some weekend league boys see if i can get myself a red mbappe or a red neymar gold 3 op you know what it is so we're going to give that a well, um, other things to watch on the market, we always talk about the cheapest players by rating. The tab that are, is our favorite over here on Footbin. Watch these high rated goals to take a hit in price again tomorrow. A lot of upgrades are going to be coming out. I don't think there's going to be too many SBCs left in the store for player wise. Let's look at these. Godin's going to be gone tomorrow at 1 p.m., Icardi will still be there. Van de Beek will still be there, and Juan Dolosky, he doesn't require any. So we'll have a couple SBCs, but they're not really uh, SBCs that people will be too interested in. This card looks cool. Um, maybe craftable if you really want them. But again, watch watch these cards tomorrow. They should be dropping in price as they get supplied onto the market. And um, yeah, it'll be a great time to stock up on those cards. If you're an SBC gold investor, some of these 82 outside backs, I've heard a lot of people talking about those this week. Uh, they go up and down in price a lot based on these SBCs. I don't know about Cruz, um, but SBCs come out in the week if you need like an 83 rated squad for the, let's say the rest of the world guaranteed SBC requires an 83 rated squad. Look at some of those 82 and 83 rated cards that you need for chemistry reasons, especially the outside backs. Um, those do rise a lot. And if you like investing in gold cards, that might be a decent shout for you as well. And if you're like me, somebody with a, a healthy amount of coins, over a million coins, this is a great method for you to do as well. Sit on the 59th minute for icons, chemistry style basics. So you'll be catching the um, cards that are just packed by people on the market. Set your min by now at 500K and then however many coins you have, since I only have six mil right now, I'll set it there. And basically just get to the 59th minute make sure you know your icon prices you can use footbin to help you out with that um, and then you can watch the cards that get listed and that come up right away i've made so many coins this year by doing that during promos lightning round times and just when people are opening packs even during uh weekend league rewards would be would be a decent time to uh to do this method and that's that's a big time method especially on on cards that you think might rise in some hype because of their nationality. I talked about this earlier as well. The French icons, I think, have some extra hype this week um, just because if you're making a French team, you can use an icon and get some uh, some green links very, very easily between you know a player like Laporte and a player like Lala that um, are in different leagues. Get a nice green link between those players. And so many people have those French icons. I think a lot of French teams are going to be built... Uh, this weekend with the new tots cards. That's why you saw me invest in a lot of this stuff For the upcoming week that I have on my transfer list I have some awars a couple lalas and I have some ganduzis and as well as some mbappes um, Because obviously there's gonna be a lot of hype. He's a very popular card in this game. I don't have too too many investments But just a few we've been smashing the upgrade packs you can see down below 45 blues I think I started Siri Ab with like 33, so I packed like 12 blues. I think uh, five or six of them have been Donnarumma. But that has helped me craft some pretty cool cards, uh, the SBC cards from this week. But again, 
getting back to the market in terms of those things. Watch the rare gold cards for the, the League One if you want to invest in those. It's always good to stock up because those are going to be popular. Um, unless they change up the SBC, I don't see that happening. That upgrade SBC, I don't think they'll change it. I think they'll drop the same thing. That's something just to be to be careful of uh, on the market as well. And then, you know, watch out for... Like, Di Maria is going to get a TOTS card tomorrow. He has some very high-rated informs in this game. He has his 90-rated inform, and I remember earlier in the year, if you watched me like a couple months ago, I loved flipping this Di Maria Man of the Match card because it was very rare, and he's on PSG, and people need that link between Mbappe and Neymar. I think this is going to become a very viable link between Mbappe and Neymar again, uh, because if you look at these stats, yes, he has the two-star weak foot. He's got the five-star skills, though, and with finesse shots and first-time shots being so good in this game, um... His, his TOTS card is going to have 90, like 4, 93, 94, 95 shooting. It's going to have 90 plus pace. He's going to have incredible stats on this card. Um, and I think he's very, very good in game. He has an amazing finesse shot. So watch this card to be something that people might come back to. Um, you know, I would expect his TOTS card to be probably somewhere in the round range of like 600 to 800K just because of the insane stats that it's going to have and the linkability to Mbappe and to Neymar and to those other PSG guys uh, that will be in TOTS. So that's kind of one of my, I don't know if I call him like a, an underdog, but Di Maria might be one that you could watch this week that may have a little bit extra market movement just because of the, the necessity for uh, a link between Mbappe and Neymar. Now we might get a Cavani TOTS, that might fill the role as well. And then center backs. I want to mention this again because... I don't know what kind of center backs they're going to put out with this promo. That's the thing that I'm going to really be looking at right away. Yes, I do think we'll get a Marquinhos, but who's going to be your other center back? Is there going to be a French center back if there's not? I think these guys, I have Blanc's not here right now, but Desai and Blanc, I think are going to be heavily in demand this weekend. All versions, probably the primer and the prime icons have the highest amount of of demand just because people will need those cards to link their squads uh, together and some midfielders as well you know Vieira Petit I bought a um, I had a middle Vieira that I bought today or I bought yesterday for 1.1 it was like under 1 million coins and I sold it for 1.2 today the 88 Vieira uh, and I like this card the most out of all of them because he is in kind of the middle for price range yeah he's still about 1.2 million coins and he's really in the middle. This card is very popular from FIFA, FIFA's in the past. And he's a very good price range compared to the other Vieira cards. Obviously, the primer is very expensive. The prime is like 1.9, I think. Yeah, 2 million coins right now. And the baby is like 600-something thousand. So this might be a card to watch tomorrow as well. If you want this Vieira in your team, you might want to try to snipe him during lightning rounds before he goes up too much. As I think a lot of people are going to be interested in this card for the French links, same thing with Petit, um, and maybe even Makalele. That's an interesting one to look at as well. But the French guys across the board, as I've been talking about for for this week, there's good, there should be a lot of market movements, especially with the Mbappe cards, with the Neymar cards. One thing that we've seen a lot this year as well is in previous promos leading up to them, so many people have a special Neymar in their team, but there's a lot of panic selling that goes on um, before promos with some of these cards. I remember this this Neymar being, whoa, is that a deal? Is that a deal right there? Neymar, the 93 rated inform, 590. Ah, that's not a deal. All right, he was 550 this week. So see again, I just learned what his price was. He's 550. Tomorrow, if I see him, you know, probably at 550, I would be very tempted to buy because it looks like he goes up to 600 every weekend and there's gonna be an added hype this weekend um, as there's going to be more hype around the League One. Obviously, it does depend on the TOTS prices, but these cards are going to be very expensive first day, so I'm not too worried about that. There should be a bounce back in the evening per usual. So, boys, if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Actually, let me scroll through. Before, I, before we do the outro, let me scroll through my Thursday flips for you guys and show me what I made some money on this week. Um, I bought a couple icons on Wednesday to flip. Um, this Jared was bought at one mil flat. This one was bought at one mil fourteen thousand. So I made um, really good money on those cards. This Vieira was bought at one point one flat, sold for one point two. I made like twenty k on that. 
Um, these Koulibaly's were insane from Syria. Um, I bought those for 120,000 coins a piece, sold them for 175. Mertens I got for a lazy. These Chiellini's I was very surprised with. I bought them for like 170 to 180 and I just kind of got out of them. I was surprised I was able to get that much out of them. Bentacours were all pretty decent. I got them for 194 to like 200k max is what I paid for them. Sold them all for like 210 to 215. These Alexandros I bought for 60k. Sold them for 87 and 90. Uh, and just also getting a few things out. These, this Lukaku card actually did very well. Bought all of these for around 65,000. Sold them for 87k. That's really good um, profit percentage on a card in that price range. And then of course we still have a few things still left to sell and plenty of cards ready and raring to go um, for tomorrow. Every time I scroll through here and I see a Hugo Lloris under 100K, I just bin it <laughs> because I think he's going to be like 120, 130 by the end of this next week, being the best French goalkeeper in this game. I think the, the you know, a lot of people, the, the hype is going to turn back to the French uh, teams this weekend very easy to put squads together and a lot of people already have french players in their club untradeable that are very op meta and end of the year type cards it's been another long video but there's a lot of stuff to talk about on the market so if you did enjoy it smash your thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new a lot of things changing soon you might not see a video for a couple of days as i move and get some things set up in a different location so you might see some things changing and again, follow the Twitch channel that is linked in the description as I should be a lot more active there in the coming future. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.